match with Kusaba X script. It's a PHP script. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go to my website URL. Now we've already installed the config.php. We've installed the install.php. We put it in the root folder. We put the fresh install.mysquirrel.php.squirrel, I mean, in the, in the root folder. And we put uh, the, the other one that's the install file. So now we go to the install. But just to take a look at the site, we're going to take a look at what the site looks like right now. Now it looks kind of screwed up. You know, it says warning and valid argument for supplied for each in home. Da, 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 da. Now that's because we haven't run the install file. Now just go to your website's URL and type in after the after the forward slash type install dot php and this will get you to the install script and that's what you have to run to get your to get your site working. Now it says configuration appears correct. If if it doesn't say that, it means you've forgotten something in the p in the config.php or you've forgotten to uh drop one of those one of those three files into the from the other folder to the to the uh to the public HTML or the root of your Kusaba install. Now it says couldn't find the table ibads um that's IB, that's a prefix, IB image board, and ADS is, uh, stands for something technical. I can't tell you what it is right now because I forgot. Now it says, please install the MySquirrel dump. Now this is what you have to do to set up your Squirrel so your Squirrel database and username can connect to your website to make everything work in the PHP scripts and in, in the Squirrel scripts too. So now we do this, and now we, it just says warning. The purpose of the script is to blah, 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 blah. Warning, warning, warning. If you screw this up, it's your own fault, is basically what that's saying. So now you click this. By clicking this checkbox, I agree that the author of the script cannot be held responsible for my own stupidity if something goes wrong. Okay, now we have to do this first. Import the my squirrel batch file. Go ahead and do that. Now it says success. SQL commands have finished. If all is well, then proceed to the installation file. And that's a hyperlink. But don't forget to delete this file. Which file? Install install mysquirrel.php. Now we have to get rid of that file. Um, but we can do the installation first. So now we're going to have to delete those three fo files that we added from the other folder. Delete this and ins and and install mysquirrel.php right now. Okay, installation has finished. Everything's successful. The default administrator account is admin with the password of admin. Delete this and install mysquirrel and add some boards. Now we can log in as admin. And admin and log in. I'm doing this first but I'm supposed to delete those three files from the the root directory. Oh I'm supposed to do that first. So let's go to the public HTML folder. Okay now um, it's not responding. Now I'm gonna go to quick connect and I'm gonna go to this one right here. Abort the previous connection and start a new one because it isn't responding. So now it is responding Okay, now we delete the install fold the install.php. We delete that. Don't really delete one file? Yes. Now Kusaba fresh install that my squirrel dot squirrel. Delete that. Yes. Now install dash my squirrel dot php. Delete that. Yes. Okay, now the install is finished and we can log in. Now we enter the the username admin and the password admin and now we log in now I'm not going to remember this username because okay notice you are using the default administrator account anyone can log into this account so a second administrator account needs to be created create another login to it 
and delete this one. So that's what I'm going to do. And where do you do that? You do that under board administration, I think. Or wait a minute. Site administration. And go to staff. Go to site administration. Go to staff. Okay, now create a new admin. And I'm going to call this a non. And I'm going to make a password. Password one. Now I'm going to uh, set it as administrator. Add staff member. And now I'm going to delete the uh, the original admin, which is this one, uh, so that nobody can log into the default admin. So now it's all set up. And now what you can do is uh, you log out. and then log back in again. And the username is Anon, for, short for Anon Pass, and the password is password1, and log in. Now let's hit remember. Okay, now we're in, and we can uh, we can add some sections, we can add some boards. The installation is completely finished. Now, whatever, you, however you shape the site from here, is up to you. But the first thing you want to do is um, go to Edit Sections, click Add Section. Uh, you're going to want one called Main. Now, this is the name of this first box here, so it's going to be capital M A I N. Abbreviation is just to be M A I N in lowercase, and um, we don't want it hidden. The order is going to be going to be zero because it's going to be the very first one among the sections. And we hit add now. Now we hit add. Now it's added. Now we can edit or delete it, but it's fine the way it is because we set it up right now. Now we go to board administration and we go to add slash delete boards. So we're going to add some boards. Um, I'm just going to show you how to make one. I've already shown you how in part one, but uh, here we go. This is the directory. This is all lowercase, uh, typically all lowercase. So we could name it B, just the letter B, and call it random and we're done first post ID is number one add board click to edit board options put it in a, in a section main everything else appears correct uh, redirect to thread I always like to select that uh, and update and regenerate board it's updated as successful. Okay, now let's check the, the, the home page. See if it loads properly this time. Yeah, it does. And there we go. We have a section called main and random. And we could add more sections. And we could add more boards. And we could add a hidden board. Now, you what you might want to do is uh, you might want to update your news. Uh, next, uh, and then I'm going to end this video. Um, this is going to be the end of, uh, after I do this, it's going to be the end of part four. So when we go to site administration, go to news, and now we're going to put site created as the subject, and we're going to put a post, uh, the date, Friday, July 15th, 2011, Friday, July 15th, 2011, site was successfully installed, XCLAN. There we go. Now that's our first news post, and we can add it. Here we go. Click Add, and we have our first news post. Now if we open up the main page, uh, we'll see that it's it's it should be there. Open in a new tab. 
So you can have the manage in one tab and the site in another tab. Here it is, site created by Anon. Friday, July 15th, 2011, site was successfully installed. Good job. So uh, basically now you've, uh, you've configured your site, you've uh, installed the proper scripts to install it, you've run the installation, and then you've deleted the install scripts from the root from the eight public HTML directory and now you've added some boards and you've posted a news post and the FAQ and the rules work just the same as the news post does you can put raw HTML in there you can put HTML tags like center uh, open less than symbol center greater than symbol center put something in there and have it and then put the same thing again with slash center at the end and then it'll be centered in the center of the page or, or the portion of the page where the HTML can go which would be right about here in this area here so you know you can use all the HTML tags you can you could put uh, you could embed uh, a, a YouTube video into the into your news post you could make it whatever size you want you want to keep it small if it's going to go in the news section but you can also uh, if you go to show posting password and you copy that now when you go to a board you can mod post so I'm going to go to random and it's loading and there's this little section here that other people don't won't see and it's called mod and you paste the uh, the password in there oops I didn't copy it correctly um, but anyway, you would paste that in there, and then you would select RH, and you could put raw HTML, and then you could put an, the embed code for a YouTube video in there, or any kind of HTML you wanted, uh, hyperlinks, everything, anything, anything that's HTML, or you could put display status, so it would display your admin or moderator of the site. It would show uh, sharp, sharp admin. like that when it when it posted except that would be in purple so that people would know that only you could post like that uh, N is for name so that'll show your name so right now my name would be a non uh, sticky would make this a sticky thread automatically with a starter and I'd have to upload a upload an image uh, but I'm not gonna do that right now um, L means locked it means no one can post in it you you don't want to use that too often but you can use it if you don't want people spamming replies at you because you're the admin or moderator of the site uh, but um, choose as you like and those are your options and uh, you would just copy this this uh, uh, this thing here this admin posting password and put it in, into the mod section here so um, so that's how you would mod post. I'm not going to do it because I don't want you to see my mod posting password. But uh, anyway, moving on. Um, and that's the end of part four. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned how to install your own image board now. And uh, keep in mind, this, this video is for educational purposes only. I cannot be held responsible if you fuck things up because you watched my video. I I cannot be held responsible. I uh, and and have have fun time hosting your own image board and administering administrating it and moderating it if that's what you're doing. And if if you need more help, there's all kinds of stuff at the Kusaba site, kusabax.cultnet.net, and it has a, an entire wiki and a staff guide. Um. It, on on the page to to give you directions on how to how to teach your moderators and how to set up uh, different stuff and how to use the the, the software to your liking. So um, so that's the end of part four and you know uh, have a good time. Okay, uh, bye.